Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Evidence and in today's video, I am going to show you how to find the minimum and the maximum of numbers and the index they are lo located at using NumPy and using Python. Alright, in this video series, I've been showing you NumPy aggregation methods. We've done um, some product mean and median of Python versus NumPy. We've done standard deviation and variance, and today we'll be focusing on minimum and maximum. And real quick, before we get started, I just want to let you know that every operation we are doing in NumPy in today's video or even in this video series has a non-save kind of part. What this means is that if your data frame has a missing values, you can use um, the non-save kind of part to compute the results while ignoring the missing values and to use this non-save kind of part you just add none in front of it so if you are doing mp.sum you will um, do mp.nonsum if you have missing values so that's a nice handy stuff that numpy has so with that being said let's go ahead and get a preview of our data frame and of course before this video I went ahead and loaded the data first so this is the year beer, wine, spirits, and all beverages um, column. So this is a wine data set. And earlier in this notebook, I didn't import NumPy as MP. So if you see NP, it means NumPy. So with that being said, let's go ahead and do minimum. And it's simple as, simple as doing MP.mean, and then in parentheses you do data frame. That's it. If you do that, it will give you the minimum for every single column in your data frame. And getting the maximum follows the same syntax. You simply do mp.max and then you do your data frame. And just like that, you get um, the maximum value for every single column in your data frame. Now to use Python to get minimum and maximum is a little bit different. So using Python to get maximum or minimum, you do mp dot, you just do max and then parentheses. If you put in data frame, it's going to throw an error. So it's, it doesn't throw an error in the traditional sense of throwing an error. It just gives you year, which doesn't make any sense. That's not helpful. Okay, but if you do max, then you specify a, a column like our beverages it gives you the maximum value for that column. So if you look at our beverages here, the maximum is 2.76 from NumPy. And we can follow the same syntax to get the minimum for a column using Python. So instead of doing max, we do mean. All right. And if, if we go ahead and run this, as you can see, it gives you the minimum of this particular column and that's 0 0.97. And that's 0 0.97. That's the minimum value in this column. And once again, like I showed you earlier, if you just do DF, it's going to give you the wrong error. <laughs> I like to say it gives you an error because this doesn't make any sense, but it's the wrong type of error. So now, which one is faster, right? Using um, NumPy minimum and maximum versus using regular Python minimum and maximum. Which one is faster? Well, let's find out. So you just use um, time it and then mp dot uh, minimum. Let's do df. Let's make this um, equal by using um, the same column for both data frames. So let, let's do another time it. All right. So basically, a minimum from NumPy it takes about 871 seconds. And then the maximum from NumPy takes about 277 seconds. But the minimum using um, regular Python is about 65 seconds, so it's way much faster. Okay. And then the maximum from regular Python is about 62 seconds. Again, way much faster. All right. So basically, using, the, using um, NumPy, you can get the minimum and maximum for every single column in your data frame but using the regular python 
max function and minimum function you can't do that you have to specify a single column at a time but the python mean and max functions is faster than the numpy mean and max functions but numpy already also has another advantage over regular python with numpy you can specify you can specify to do row wise operation okay so what we've been doing here which is let's say np dot max and then axis equal to zero this is the same result that we got earlier when we do when we did np dot max is the same result that we got here okay that's because m axis equal to zero is the default by default it does the calculations column wise but if you want to do row wise operation you follow the same syntax so here instead of doing axis equal to zero you do axis equal to one and let's run this and just like that it gives you the maximum for every single row now and um, because of how our data set is of course the maximum is going to be the year column but let's do mean for example now it gives you um, the minimum for every single row if you wanted to do row wise operation you won't be able to do something like this i'm um, just using regular python maximum and minimum so now that we have kind of looked at how to get a maximum and minimum how do you find out the index that has the maximum value and the minimum value so let's go ahead and look at that so first let's begin um, with numpy to do that in numpy you do mp.arg mass and then you provide let's just start by providing our data frame and it just tells you zero but if you provide a specific column like our beverages it tells you that in this column the index that has the maximum value is 29 okay just to verify this information we can do df of beverages 29 and you can see that at position 29 we have the value 2.76 all right and this is consistent with what we had earlier if we do mp dot max as you can see right here our all beverages column has a maximum value of 2.76 and by using this argument right here we are able to find out that 29 is the index that has the maximum value um, 2.76 so if this is information that's important to you which is finding out which row has the highest value this is how you find it and you can repeat um, the same thing using minimum value so we do mp.argmin and we do df and let's go to our beverages again it tells you that the index in our beverages column like the row in our beverages column with the lowest number is 76 and again we can do our sanity check like we did like we did earlier and let's put in 79 here oh 76 As you can see, the value located at row number 76 is 0 0.97. And this, again, is consistent with what we had earlier. So if you do mp.main df, you can see that in our all beverages column, the minimum value is 0 0.97. And that 0 0.97 is located at row number 76. So this is pretty cool. Now, what if you want to use regular Python to get the row with the minimum and maximum value how do you do that well you have to go a little extra and you have to do a little extra magic okay so basically to um, get the index that has the maximum value using python you do list df our beverages 
dot index then you do max df all beverages i know it's a lot of code but this is how you get it done again it gives us the answer 29 if we scroll back up here we can see that 29 is what we had here and then if we can repeat um, this process to get the minimum so here we replace maximum max with mean and it gives us the value 76 which is what we are expecting so this is how you use regular python to get the maximum and minimum value Mi maximum and minimum index right so the row that has the maximum value and the row that has the minimum value so which one is faster right using regular python with a code like this or using numpy well let's time it and find out and i know earlier i didn't explain this code but just to quickly explain it we basically take this column right here and we turn it into a list and list has a function called dot index all right and we did dot index instead of just doing dot index parentheses we specify that we are looking for the maximum value so basically we are saying um take this column and turn it into a list right here and then find the index of the maximum value that is and um, what this code is doing right here all right let's go ahead and run this and as you can see right here so using the numpy argument function argument marked and argument list is about 463 microseconds and 369 microseconds by using regular python to find the row with the maximum value and the row with the minimum value is about 94 mi microseconds and 63 microseconds so once again and um, using the python in, in this situation is like much faster it requires more code but it's also faster that's if you're looking for speed so that's um, basically it for this video that is how you would use numpy and python to get the minimum and maximum value to also find the row that has the minimum and maximum value in your data frame i hope you like this video if you want to get access to this notebook that i use in today's video just go to machinelearningeducation.com and once you are here you click on free data science resources it will bring you to this page and this is where i keep my data science tutorial python notebooks i create a lot of videos and blog posts i end up with a lot of notebooks i just find it easier more straightforward to take all my notebooks and put them right here inside my data science resources page so that's machinelearningeducation.com slash free to get access to this notebook that i use in today's video also you can visit me online at evidencen.com this is my primary website where i create data science blog posts and as time goes by i'm going to create more and more data science blog posts and if you're here on evidencen.com you can also click on free data science resources and you'll be able to get to this page that's it for this video if you made it this far please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you made it this far in this video but you didn't like it please give it a double thumbs down and still subscribe to the channel that's it for this video thank you for watching and i'll talk to you on the next one bye